Hello students, welcome back to my channel Commerce Duty of Life to Success and yes students, today jo hum exercise solve karne wale hai, wo hai obviously 12th secretarial practice chapter number 9 that is depository system question number 1 F, G, H, I and G ठीक है को इसके पहले वाला जो एक्सरसाइज है एमटू से क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ए टू ई ऑलरेडी सॉल्व किया है हमने हमारे प्रीवियस वीडियो में तो इस वीडियो में ये रिमेनिंग सब एक्सरसाइज हम सॉल्व करेंगे एंड वेर एवर एप्लीकेबल वी विल ट्राई टू डिस्कस आल्सो सो दैट थिंग्स बिकम्स मोर क्लियर टू अस है ना सो विल जस्ट गो अहेड विदाउट डिलेइंग बिफोर दैट न्यू पीपल टू माई चैनल काइंडली लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर सो दैट द वीडियो इज यूजफुल टू एवरीबडी आउट देयर ठीक है सो ऑन दैट ब्यूटिफुल नोट चिल्ड्रन लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एफ जो है वो है कंप्लीट द सेंटेंसेज ठीक है लेट्स गो टू द फर्स्ट वन सेंट्रल लोकेशन फॉर कीपिंग सिक्योरिटीज इन डीमेटेड फॉर्म इज डेफिनेटली depository now before going to the second question uh, second one students i would like to tell you ki answers aapko similar dikhenge questions different tarike ke honge aur main ye har video mein aapko batane ki you know koshish karti hu aur maine bataya bhi hai i guess that they try to ask you uh, different ways okay way, varieties bol sakte ho aap jahan par uh, yahi check karne ke liye hota hai ki aapka concept clear hai ya nahi सो वॉट हैपन्स यू विल ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड कि ये क्वेश्चन इस तरीके से भी पूछा जा सकता है तो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन में तो हमारे पास वेराइटीज ऑफ सब क्वेश्चन है ठीक है तो दैट्स वाई इट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट एंड देन यू कैन टेकल एनी सब क्वेश्चन सो ऑन दैट ग्रेट इन्फॉर्मेशन लेट्स गो टू द सेकेंड वन नाउ फ्रीजिंग ऑफ डेबिट क्रेडिट ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज इज पॉसिबल इन डेफिनेटली डिपॉजिट में ही पॉसिबल होगा फिजिकल मैनुअल मोड में तो नहीं होगा सो so, फ्रीजिंग अगर ये नया शब्द आता है सो यू शुड नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज और लॉस्ट है ना तो फ्रीजिंग ऑफ डेबिट क्रेडिट ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज इज पॉसिबल इन डिपॉजिटरी फॉर श्योर देन थर्ड वन इज फर्स्ट डिपॉजिटरी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड स्टार्टेड इन द ईयर डेफिनेटली 1947 आप सोच सकते हो कि 1947 वाज़ द ईयर व्हेन वी गॉट इंडिपेंडेंस इंडिया गॉट इंडिपेंडेंस तो तब शुरू हुआ था वर्ल्ड में है ना देन Fourth is the Indian Depository Act was passed in the year. Yes, it's 1996, which we have already discussed. Next is a link between depository and investor is called depository participant. Definitely, वो जो एक link होता है, जो एक intermediary होता है, उस link को between the depository and the investor उसको हम depository participant ही कहते हैं, ठीक है? Then sixth is account of <coughs> sorry account of securities of the investors is maintained by depository participant definitely hai na uh, securities account jo hai investors ke wo kaun maintain karta hai wo depository participant hi maintain karta hai hai na so the right answer is depository participant then seventh one is the process which converts physical securities into electronic form definitely it is called dmat or you can also call it dematerialization मैंने डीमेट लिखा है यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट डीमेटलाइजेशन और डीमेट विल बी दैप्ट वन सेकेंड सॉरी नेक्स्ट द प्रोसेस विच कन्वर्ट्स डिजिटल सिक्योरिटीज इन फिजिकल फॉर्म इज कॉल्ड रीमैट यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट रीमेटरलाइजेशन नेक्स्ट द इश्योर कंपनी मस्ट रजिस्टर विथ डेफिनेटली विद द डिपॉजिटरी है ना जो भी इश्योर कंपनी है उसको रजिस्टर करना पड़ता है लेकिन वो किसके साथ डिपॉजिटरी के साथ देन Ninth one, uh, I have done with ninth one. Tenth one है the unique code identifying a security is definitely ISIN और ISIN का full form है International Securities Identification Number. Next eleventh one, the first depository of India is definitely NSDL that is National Securities Depositories Limited. Isn't it? So these in this exercise हमने ये देखा कि बहुत सारे questions के answer same ही हैं लेकिन बहुत different तरीके से हमको पूछे गए हैं So that is the difference. Otherwise the answers are almost similar. Let's go to the G part of it, children. Uh, yes, select the correct option from the bracket. You can see children यहाँ पर answers आपको bracket में दिए गए हैं आपको इनको यहाँ से निकाल के wherever applicable उनको correct जगह पर fix करना है ठीक है So As usual, there are two columns, group A and group B. Uh, let's match it. I have already written for you, but read it. Actually, the first one is dematerialization. Definitely, the answer is physical to electronic. Then, second, 
given in the group B, depository participant, yes, it is the agent of depository. Next, C, depository, first depository of the world, yes, it's in Germany. Last one, CDSL, yes, it started in the year 1999. So, this is how you have to fix it. Let's go to the second one, match the pairs. They have given two here. Group A, Group B, Group A major first one hai. Wo hai first depository in India. Definitely it is NSDL. B, second one in the Group B, rematerialization ka matlab kya hai? Yes, it is from electronic to physical. C, fungibility. Yes, no distinctive number. Remember children, we had a discussion on this as well. There are no distinctive number in fungibility. One of the uh, factors which is applicable, hai na? Then, next is ISIN. What is ISIN, children? Yes, it is a 12 digit code. And these are the answers I have here. These brackets are given here. You have to fix it. I am telling you again because sometimes in the flow we know the answer so we write. But it is always better to see whether what is that particular type of question. Hai na? Let's go to the EH part of it. It's one line answers, our favorite. Hai na? Answer in one sentence, the first one, what is depository system? Students, I have written the main answer part here, but pura sentence may definitely aapko padke bataungi. You have to write the entire statements to grab that particular one mark. Hai na? What is depository system? Share, depository system means shares are held in electronic form. This is how you are supposed to write the answer. Thik hai? Question number two. Give examples of action termed as corporate action. Definitely, uh, examples of action termed as corporate uh, action are payment of dividend, issue of bonus shares, offerings of rights shares. Okay, so here I have given some students. There are many more. But you can write so much for one mark. It will be more than enough. Okay? Then, third one is when was Depository Act passed in India? Definitely, it was passed in the year 1996. What is a depository participant or what is a DP? They are asking you, if they are giving you in a short form, definitely they are expecting you to write in the full form. So, here the answer will DP is nothing but a depository participant. Okay? Then comes what is dematerialization. Yes, you can write the process of converting or conversion of physical shares to electronic uh, mode is called as dematerialization. And what is rematerialization, children? Just the opposite of dematerialization, that is uh, conversion of electronic securities into physical mode. Aap, uh, in dono ko is tarike se bhi sakte ho yahan pe. I'll just show you. Yes, one minute. Yeah. What is demat or dematerialization? The process which converts physical securities in electronic form. Aap aise bhi sakte ho. Remat cop. The process which converts a digital securities in physical form. Both the ways you can write, the answer is same and the answer is will be correct. I have written from my understanding point of view. You can write in your understanding or even you can write uh, it is a process of uh, physical to electronic mode of shares. Conversion you can write. Okay, next. What is ISIN? Definitely children, many already aapko bataya hai. It's International Securities Identification Number. Last one. Name the depositories in India. Definitely there are two multi hai ye. To ek hai NSDL or dusra hai CDSL. I'm sorry, CSDL. Okay, then comes our important part children. Question number one, I. Jaha par aapko pura sentence phir se likhna hai. I'm telling you again, don't forget it. Correct the underlined words and rewrite the following sentences. Ek jo underline mein diya hai, wo galat hai. Aapko usko replace karna hai sahi ke saath. And then you have to write the entire statement again. Chalo. Let's get started here as well. The first one is electronic mode of holding securities is risky. Nahi, electronic mode nahi. The correct answer is physical. You can write physical mode of holding securities is risky. Second is allotment and transfer of securities is time consuming in electronic mode. Bilkul nahi. Allotment and transfer of securities is time consuming in physical mode. So the correct answer is physical mode. You have to write the entire statement along with the right answer. Next, banking system leads to scriptless mark capital market. No, depository system leads to a scriptless capital market. So, correct answer kya hai? Depository. Fourth, storage of certificates is not required in physical mode of holding. 
No. Storage of certificate is not required in the electronic mode of holding. The correct answer is electronic. You have to replace physical with electronic. Fifth, jo hai, wo hai, India has a single depository system. Nahi. India has a multi depository system. The correct answer is multi. Then, sixth, depository participant in India has to register under the Partnership Act. Bilkul nahi, it's wrong. Depository participant in India has to register under the SEBI Act. The correct answer is SEBI. There is nothing to do with the partnership. Okay. Then, seventh one. DMAT accounts are opened and maintained by the depository. Nahi, bilkul nahi. DMAT accounts are opened and maintained by the depository participant. The correct answer is depository participant. Eighth one is... Securities are fungible in physical mode, which is wrong. Securities are fungible in the electronic mode. So, the correct answer is electronic. Ninth one, jo hai, wo hai, ISIN is a code given to company. Definitely not. ISIN is a code given to securities. The correct answer is securities. Okay. Yeah. Then the last one, ISIN of Indian Government Securities is issued by NSDL, which is definitely ISIN of Indian Government Securities is issued by RBI and that's our own RBI that is Reserve Bank of India. Okay? Students, so now you have got a little bit of grasp about how the things can be asked and what does, what sorry, what do they really mean? Okay? So... Let's go to the next sub question that is J part of it and that is arrange in proper order. So first I'll read out what they have given to us children and then on the right hand side I have given proper sequence which I will tell you read and read. Okay, let's read the first one. A. Get statement of accounts. B. Open DMAT account. C. Submit DRF. First of all, you have to open a DMAT account. So the first one is B that is open DMAT account. Second is C that is submit DRF that is DMAT request form and last or ant me aega A that is get statement of account. So students you have to write the entire statement whatever is given in the correct form. <coughs> Sorry that is first you will write B that is open DMAT account. Second, you will write submit DRF and third, you will write get statement of account. So, this is the correct position. I have given in the numerical form children to first, second, third, jaysay aata hai. Okay, then let's go to the second. Oh, A, investor beneficial owner submits application for securities to issue our company. B, depository intimates the DP about creating BO's account. C. Issuer company gives details of allotment to depositories. Sabse pehle jo aega, wo pehle wala hi aega. That is investor beneficial owner submits benefic uh, application for securities to issuer company is the first one. Second aega C. That is issuer company gives details of the allotment to the depository. Or ant me ya third aega B. That is depository intimates the DP about crediting BO's account. So children now you can see number one is A. Number 2 is C. Number 3 is B. So, this is the sequence how you are supposed to write. So, in the exam, maybe you will write jumbled words, uh, jumbled statements. You will write in the correct sequence. 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 So, here we end with the question number 1 F, G, H, I, and J, I hope the concept is more clear to you, children. And now I think you understood what type of questions can be asked to you hai na? so if tomorrow they ask you any question you are in the position to write also so that's what we want also that we should understand how to tackle the questions hai na? so i'll stop here and conclude the video here i hope the concept are clear if so kindly like subscribe and share so that the video is useful to everybody as usual i see on that note again children i stop here in the next video definitely i'll come up with more explanations and more exercises solved ones okay so till then see you people thank you so much take care children thank you so much